For my steak and potato casserole, I'm using all that you see here. Onion, green pepper, my bacon, my potatoes, my steak, real bacon bits, and then these seasonings. Onion powder, white pepper, garlic. Yes, this is what I'll be using. We're gonna get started with the bacon first. I'm gonna go ahead and get that out the way, okay? Get it out the way, because the bacon cooks fast. Well, for this, is gonna cook the fastest, and we're gonna be still putting it in the oven, but bacon and I have my potatoes here and I did put oil at the bottom already so I'm gonna give it a little stir see that bacon sizzling okay sizzling I'm gonna turn that down some go ahead and flip my bacon oh smelling real good up in here Mmm. It's all starting to sizzle for me, so I'm gonna add some seasoning. First off, I'm gonna add minced garlic because I love, love, love minced garlic. I just feel like you can put it in anything. Just put a little, nice little helping in there for that. Okay. Mm -hmm. And then I'm gonna add some seasoning salt. Mm -hmm. Get it coated, okay? Get that thing coated. A little ground white pepper. Ooh, ooh, ooh. This is my first time using this too, but I've heard good things, so we'll see how it goes. And onion powder. I'm gonna go let that become one. Lord, got potatoes flying out. We're gonna get out of stir. And we're gonna let them cook down. So you don't want you won't have to cook them all the way through. You can really just cook them until they get a little bit softer. Either way, we're putting it in the oven. So it don't really, it matters, but it doesn't. It's really your preference. I'm gonna like cook it down some, cause then when the bacon get done, I'm gonna go ahead and go right to the, to the, um, the steak. The steak, and then we are gonna add the vegetables after the steak done cook some by itself. So be back. So I went ahead and added my steak after I took, so I did take my, of course, take my bacon off. When your bacon get done, add your steak. And as for the potatoes, I'm letting them cook. They've been on about 10, 12 minutes now. So I'm probably let them cook maybe like, if I want them a little soft, I'm gonna let them cook for like maybe another like five or seven minutes. But as for your steak, you're gonna go ahead and get that seasoned up. Same seasoning you use for the potatoes. Seasoned salt. Onion powder. Ground white pepper. And we're gonna get that a stir. I'm stir that thing. Everything's cooking and sizzling just right. Hear that? Mm. This thing smells so delicious. Oh my gosh. Alright, we're gonna let the steak cook a little bit more and then. I'm gonna add my peppers and onions to this. And then we're gonna let them all marinate together. You yeah, know? So, I'm gonna let that cook down a little bit and then we're gonna be back to add the veggies. So, I'll let my steak cook down some. 
So I'm going to be adding the peppers. And the onions. We get that a stir. I'm gonna stir that thing good. Get everything evenly in there. Uh oh. Mm-hmm. Mm. Smell like love in here. Okay. Smell like pure love. Stir that up. We're gonna add some minced garlic. We're gonna just gonna add it to everything. Okay. <laughs> we're gonna stir that up again. If you want to, you can add more seasoning to it. That is purely your preference. And do both at the same time. Stir it up. And I'm about to be taking these off real soon. each oven to 400. Got my potatoes, half done potatoes out. I'm gonna go ahead and add some cheese. A little mozzarella. I'm trying to get rid of cheese. I got a fridge full of cheese right now. Put a little Kobe. And we're gonna add Crumble up. Well, you crumble up however you want it, but I'm crumbling it up like that. And then I'm gonna add some more cheese. I'm sorry, I'm gonna get these things open. Mm -hmm. Good. I'm gonna get some cheese. Some of the steak and potato mixture. I'm sorry, steak and veggies and steak. Just add some of that. Scatter it in there. It's gonna kind of layer it. Just because I want the potatoes to really be in that thing. I'm gonna give it a mix too. Sliding away from me. All right. Once you've done that, got a little bit more mixture. Just scatter that in there. Put in some, I'm gonna put in some spots that, put in the spots that look a little low on meat. Okay. Then, what we're gonna do is add more cheese. Cheese this thing up. cheddar add a little bit more of that Colby mm -hmm. that thing later we're gonna add some more cheese and this one is the Italian style cheese so this gonna this gonna be real cheesy okay we are not playing with the cheese right now. All right. Once you got that coated, I'm going to add some more steak on top. Actually, this is going to be the rest. So, we adding the rest on top. Mm-hmm. 
Nice little balance. I just like don't want me to drop this stuff. Put that right up in there. Make sure you get all that steak out. Steak and your veggies. Once you got that, add more cheese. You knew. You knew. You knew what we was gonna do. Get that in there. Out of these cheeses, so. Just don't, don't be playing. Mmm. <laughs> this gonna be beautiful when it come out. Ooh. God, I can't wait. After you got that, you're gonna add some bacon bits. Just add them, just sprinkle them right on the tizzop. Get them on that thing. Like I said, this thing's gonna be beautiful when it's done. All right, don't you think you got enough? We are gonna put this thing in the oven. 400 for 40 minutes and make sure you cover it too. I'll be back for the finished product. And here we have it, fresh out. This is sizzling steel. Mm -hmm. That looks terrific. Terrific. 